Welcome to the Rusted Garden. It's the evening of the second and we actually have a frost coming in. It's a little bit stronger than I want it to be and I wanted to show you real quick how you can put some protection on your seedlings. These are tomatoes I put out and you can see they're pretty beat up. When I put them out, of course, a couple days ago, a frost came a lot colder than it was supposed to be and really damaged the leaves but they're all coming up again and it you know, goes all the way around my deck. Let me go get the plastic cups. I actually got to step out the giant and buy them, but I just want to show you how you can create a couple degrees of frost protection in your newly transplanted seedlings. And the problem is, is even though I acclimated them to the outdoors, I acclimated them to cool weather, cold weather, the sun, the wind, but these frosts are just a little bit too much for them right now. They need to kind of get a couple weeks into the cold to kind of deal with the frost. They are frost tolerant, but not when they come fresh out of the house within a week or two. So it's pretty simple. You want to pick up plastic cups from your local grocery store. And you want the rigid cups that are really firm because you want to be able to sink these into the ground so the wind doesn't blow them off. If you buy the lighter cups, they get blown off um, pretty easily by the wind. Now you can use this. For when a frost is coming, you can use it when the temperatures are dipping down too cold, maybe for your tomatoes or peppers. But you just go in and you press the cups right over whatever plant you want to protect. And it's really that simple. Just go right over it and you see how quick it is. Press it in. The rigid cups, again, are a lot easier to push in like that. And I'm going to just go around, cover all of my lettuces. I'm also going to show you Another thing you can do for another level of protection and basically once you cover up your containers because they don't really have the warmth of the ground maybe you want to put a clear plastic bag you could use a solid plastic bag if you want I'm going to use these clear plastic bags in a future video to show you how to make a little hothouse for your tomatoes and peppers so let me set up the uh, tripod and just show you how to use this plastic bag. This will give it another layer of protection. So I just got back from work and got the news that a frost is coming a little colder than I want it to be. It's going to be windy too and that's going to put in some uh, wind chill factor on it. So I just want to protect these plants. Again, plastic cup. These are the larger size in case your transplants Any are bigger. Kind of plastic bag will work for just another layer of insulation. And you just pull it up just like that. And all you got to do is close the top off with some twine and that will give two levels of protection against frost and cold weather for your plants. So hopefully this gives you some idea how to save your plants. Let me just tie this off. There we go. So hopefully this gives you some idea to how to protect your plants in case a frost rolls in, especially when you have your peppers, your tomatoes, and your warm weather plants out there. You don't want them to die because just a little bit of frost is going to kill them. At least I've got peas and other cool weather crops, and they're, they're going to do pretty good in the cold. They can take the freezing frost, but they're kind of young, like I said. They haven't had much time out here, so I want to give them a little bit of protection. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com, and check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.